Hi, welcome to the PACEIT JavaScript Learning Series. I'm Marty Baker. In this video, a JavaScript event will be explained. You'll be provided with example code on how to work with the event. Additional possibilities for use of this event will be talked about. You'll be presented with what you should know or take away from this video. And finally, additional resources available for your learning on the topic will be presented. A context menu is a drop-down menu that appears on a web page when a user right-clicks on the web page element. The on context menu event is new in HTML5. So how does the browser process this event? The browser includes a JavaScript interpreter that listens and responds to the web user's right-click on an element. Once the user has right-clicked on the element, the browser captures the right-click, the element that the user has right-clicked on, and passes the information off to the JavaScript interpreter. If the code written by the web developer has no errors, the interpreter will pass back to the browser the action that needs to be done. Let's look at some example code. The example code for the context menu event uses inline JavaScript working with line 28 of the code. Added an event handler on context menu and assigning it the value of document which refers to the current document loaded in the browser. We're going to identify a specific element by using the get element by ID and that element happens to be the demo element. Here's the identifier for that. We are going to change the inner HTML, which refers to the container element, a division, and when you right click, it will change what is contained within that division. In this case, it'll be saying, when you right clicked, the context menu appeared. Let's take a look at the code. I'm gonna run this one in Firefox. And when I come down to the division and I right click, a context menu appeared and the language on the screen changed. When you right clicked, the context menu appeared. Another common use of the context menu event is that it can be used to disable a right click within a web page. Let's look at a second example. Again, an event handler on context menu is added to an element. In this case, it's the body element. And in the example code, it's on line 10. And we'll go through really quickly and explain this one more time. The event handler on context menu. We are going to affect the current documents output so you can see change something, let your user know. We're going to change a container element which is identified with demo. Again that's down here in our demo instead of saying right click on me it'll come up and say context menus have been dis disabled and the key to disabling the right click is to use keywords return false. That says don't do it. Context menu should not be displayed. So let's go ahead and run this one in Firefox. And because we added it to the body element, any place that we click, it's going to disable. I'll click up here. You notice the context menu did not appear, but our division content did. Context menus have been disabled. You should know what a context menu is, what on context menu the event handler is, and a description. Context menu is an event that is initiated by a web user. On context menu is the event handler that is used by the developer to respond to the context menu event. Again, a context menu is essentially a right click on an element or a web page. You can place your code anywhere within an element. It can be in line or it can be a function called by the event handler. Functions will be talked about in our next set of modules. Always remember to test your code. I can't stress enough 
Make sure you test it in browsers Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer, Safari, and Opera at the minimum. We always like to leave you with a few other resources that you can use for additional learning. In this case, the ones that I like the best were Microsoft Developers Network, and there's a link for you. And then the second one that I found that was good on the context menu event was at Mozilla Developers Network. So your next steps. Remember, practice does make perfect. So if you feel that you understand this, copy the code that we've provided for you, try them, see if it works for you, and then come up with a couple of your own scenarios. See if you can't create an event handler that will work with the context menu. And as always, if you have any questions or need additional help, be sure to ask your instructor or your mentor. Thank you for watching this video in the JavaScript learning series.